I don't think war is very different. I mean, of course, new weapons makes different wars, but I mean, the people in the war are the same. I mean, 150 years ago, the feelings, the relations, you miss the people at home, you were afraid of dying. Actually, that was one of the things that really inspired me about this thing was I, I read some of the I, I read some of the letters that some of the soldiers had written to their families. And it was I could really relate to it. It was it was really inspiring to see that they were people just like us. I mean, 150 years might seem a long time, but it really isn't. It's emotional to watch it. Um, and being, I mean, I mean, we, it took six months, seven months to do this thing. And you really get to know your characters and you become really close friends with your co-actors. Um, so yeah, it's, it's kind of emotional, but I mean, we know that Ole is standing right, right next to the camera saying, ah, oh, this is, this is good, but can you do a bit more? So. Yeah, I think I think it's different for us to watch it than for an audience who hasn't been on set. This is it is a love story and I think love is what drives this story really. Um because even though Peter is betrayed, he still has a I mean, the bond between the two brothers is still quite strong, even though Peter hates him for a while. Um, and that's also what's so brutal about it, I think. What I like so much about Ole is that what's important for him is the acting. I mean, all the other things, all the technical issues, all the extras, that's just stuff that has to work. and what he's really interested in is the relation between the two characters on camera. Um, and he's really, really good at getting you into the right mood. Um, and he takes the time it needs. And if you're not done by the end of the day, he says, I don't care about production plan. We're going to do, we're not going to do it again tomorrow. And that's, I mean, that, that makes you feel secure as an actor that you know, that he's not letting anything through. That's not good enough. I was overwhelmed getting on set. I mean, this is this is the first big production I've done. Otherwise, I've I've been doing some small movie things at home, and I've been doing theater mainly. Um, so getting on set, seeing that half of Czech Republic was covered in fake snow. I mean, there was snow. It was we were in the middle of April, and there was snow as far as you could see, <laughs> and it was just the sun was shining, and it was 15 degrees or something. I mean, that was crazy. So yeah, production wise, this is of course the biggest thing I've, I've experienced and it's production wise, the most expensive thing ever been made in Denmark.